Boston baseball fans, and here in New York, the show has an AL East matchup. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the New York Yankees. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. The lefty on the mound for the Yankees, Nestor Cortez Jr. And singing, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. But I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Jaron Duran stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a ground ball out to short, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Rob Ref Snyder getting ready to hit. That misses the zone. Ball one. Cortez, 29 years old, and he was born in Cuba. Duran aboard here at first with nobody out. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Fly ball to right. Soto gets under it. Falls it in for the out. One down. That is good. Here's a check of the Red Sox lineup put together by manager Alex Cora. They do a lot of things well in this offense, Zingy. They control the strike zone. They make pitchers work hard for outs. And as a result, one of the better OBP teams in the league. Well, what I love about it is it's an organizational philosophy. Whether you go to instructional league, whether you go to spring training, you see these players even during batting practice when it doesn't matter, they're practicing that type of approach, Boog. And when you have that filtering through the organization, even when you call up a player, they step right in and continue with the pattern that they have established One at this more. level, which ultimately leads to a lot of success. And another ball, you know, you translate on base percentage. It's basically this. Teams that have a high on base percentage, they don't make outs at a very high rate. As my buddy Joe Sheehan says, OBP is life. Two-two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here is Devers. There's a strike. Oh one. Two runs across in the inning, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Hard hit to third. Zips it across, That's an out. and Devers is set down. Two outs, base is empty. Joe stepping in for Boston. Connor Wong. 
This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Two out spaces empty. Ball and one. takes low for ball one. Yeah, one and ball. because he's one got strike. the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Yeah. That one's in there. Yeah, the count one and two. We have a catcher that can throw like that. A pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Two down, nobody on. No, that missed inside. inside. Now two and two. To third, LeMayhew. Sends it to first, and that is that. Two runs for Boston on the home run, and it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in New York, and today's starter, Tanner Howe. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. Now it's the DH, Oswaldo Cabrera. But after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. A little ball, bit high. No. Ball one. Now one out to right. And it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. But the way defenders no track down balls these days, oh. I mean, both from the infield and in the oh. outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart oh. in there, and he found a way. One ball. Juan Soto, no the next to hit, takes ball one. This hitter loves attacking the first pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. Left hand hitter waits. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Lined, and that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive that's base hits for this team. That's really good swing good. right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that ball. average. Almost got him. Singing, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first. Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is one, one and one. one. That's a base hit. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Stringing them together. That's Not three good. hits in a row. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Here's Alex Verdugo. Golden opportunity right here. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Cabrera, the runner at third. Soto over at second. Judge at first with no outs. Ball. 
That's a little bit low. Working down to the zone to start the at bat, looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high, maybe you get a mistake. One finds the zone, and it's three and one. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. Joe got them something to mess up there, and now forces home a run with the wall. The setting's definitely getting away from him. Here is Glaber Torres. And fouled off. There's a strike. You need a strikeout. You need a ball, perhaps on the ground for a double play, or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. The 0-2. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so. Not a two count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your short. Austin Wells in the box here lets that one go for a ball. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Just missed. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. And a pitch. This one is blasted. He powers that one out of here. Home run number five on the season, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 5-2. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. There's a strike. Well, it's not the inning he was planning on to begin this start, but you've got to find a way to shake things off and give your team some length and put up some zeros. One down, base is empty. Ball one. Battling here as he fouls it away. Next pitch is outside.
on the ground to the left. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked yeah. himself into the a third third count. Third. Turned on it nicely. Right. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. First. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, one. Tough start for him so far. Already at 30 pitches here in the first. Over to first, and he saved. And a pitch. Ball. Outside. And that's ball one. Should be extra bases. Volpe flying around third and headed home. He'll score. It's 6 2. Throw that ball nicely. He put a great swing on it and it jumped off his back. He put it all together there and he's rewarded with the double. Board. And next for New York, DJ LeMayhew. That clips the corner. Still only one out here in the inning. Strike two. Oh, two. And a ground ball to first. It's through for a hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. The bat bat. The designated hitter. Of Walter. Cabrera. So the lineup flips over. And now the DH. Oswaldo Cabrera. First pitch misses. Well, clear game plan coming in this one. Be aggressive against this starter. Try to knock him out of this ball game, and it looks like they're on their way to doing that. Get it to the bullpen a little bit early. Could be a great offensive day. Ball so two balls and no strikes. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Runners are at the corners. One away. Two on. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Struck him out looking. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's now, a bad he's probably going to be thinking about for a little oh. while. Didn't pull the trigger. No, no. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Here's Juan Soto. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Now ah. finds a corner. That's strike one. Two outs. No. One ball, one strike. And there's a foul ball. Cora is out of the dugout and he will make a move for the bullpen. Tanner Howe. 
out of the game and he's on the hook for the runners at second and third so looking for some help there back in a minute. Here's a new pitcher from the pen Nick Pavetta and he has some nasty breaking stuff. Pavetta. So two down here is Aaron Judge singled and scored his first time. There's a strike. Two on two outs. Ball. And it is two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Next Three offering one. way upstairs. Ooh. Outside corner, there's a strike. LeMayhew on third. Soto on at second with two down. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on the board. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 10 to 2. He absolutely feasts on right handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. is power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here base is empty with two away here's the left fielder Alex Verdugo swing it a foul straight back In the air, out towards right center. Duran makes the catch, inning over. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. And now an eight run lead at 10 2. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back at Yankee Lee Stadium, Ball, stepping in, Romy Gonzalez. And a pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and Ball. down. And why those are the toughest Three locations ball. to Point hit the strike. baseball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Swing and a pop-up. Torres puts it away for the out. One away. Batting seven. The left fielder, number seven. Masataka. So up next, Masataka Yoshida. First pitch, and he just misses. One out, base is empty. Next offering is fouled back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. 
Swing and a miss. He was late. One strike ball. two. Only well, just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. One down, base is empty. Ball two. <laughs> Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And now the lefty fights it off. He'll see another. Left hand batter waits. Bounce to third. LeMahieu gets Out. it to first. Two up, two down. And next for the Red Sox, and Manuel Valdez. And a good eye there. Up and in, and that's ball two. The Red Sox with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the second. Ball and that's three. off the inside edge. And that's ball three. That's yep. a strike across the top of the zone. A wind and a pitch. That one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. Kicks and fires. There's a swing and a drive. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but he'll take that swing and that result every time. And in scoring position with two away. Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. The shortstop takes a ball. And a 1 0. And delivers outside. That one's spoiled and. The count now two and one. Runner at second, two down. Two Three one up. pitches in there, and the count is even. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Grisham on the move, and he hauls it in. And the Red Sox leave one, and the deficit stays at eight. It's 10 2. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, we head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Pavetta back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. And Glaber Torres retired. And a quick out number one. The batter. The catcher. The catcher. Austin. Here's the catcher, Austin yeah. Wells. He had a grand slam his first time up. Oh. 
Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That one back there. It's 11 to 2. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all. He squared it up right away. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. So digging in, Anthony Volpe. Late with the swing there. No ball. One strike. The Yanks up big in this one. Bottom half of inning number two. No, that misses. One and one. One one. Liner. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. here. Hooked oh, on that pitch on the outside, yeah. but he was still able to square it up yeah. pretty nicely. Yeah. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Trent Grisham stepping in now for the Yankees. Doubled in his first AB. Checks Even over to first. Up. Back safely. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Safe in second, and that was not close. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the score position. And he deals. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Squeezes it, and there's two away. Now battle the third baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Here's DJ LeMayhew, one for one with a single so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Volpe at second with two down. Just no, misses outside. with that one. It's a good take. And now the count filled up three and two. And he walked him. First base. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight play discipline. So the batting order turns over. Oswaldo Carrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Right through there for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing oh, him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. First and second, two down. Got him. They limit the damage here. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We played two full back after this on the show. Top half of the third inning. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. Jaron 
Duran. The pitch. Now this one's crushed down the line. Looking foul ball. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound oh, work no. to get you out. That one close, rule the ball. One ball, one strike. Foul ball. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes and one away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Right, Top of the strike zone. Perfect. We're seeing more wow. fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Ref no, Snyder takes low second trip to the plate in this one. Ball and two. another ball. Two ball. No strike. Left field. Verdugo running hard. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two outs. Now bad. Bad. The designated hitter. Here's Tyler, Tyler O'Neill. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Right through there for a strike. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs. If he's a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for Boston. That won't help much. It's 11-2. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Bottom Yankees. of the inning. And stepping the in for the Yankees, Juan oh. Soto. Go and the pitch. Oh. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. Durant ranging back. <laughs> he flexes his power with that swing. And the add on, it's 12 2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there, too. He gave it a great effort, but, you know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Aaron Judge at the dish now. He homered earlier in this one, Singy, which isn't much of a surprise. No, not at all, Boog. This is the same guy no who ball. homered in his What's first right? at bat in the majors and did it again the next day. He's just unreal. Here comes the 0-1. Good no, eye right the there. Point. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here in the last half of the third. Hard hit, right side. Takes it himself. Out. One gone, bottom of the third inning. The left fielder, number, number 24. 24. Alex Verdugo. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Alex Verdugo. He's 0 for 1. Ball, Close no. one doesn't get the call. And that's one ball, ball one. No strike. Foul ball there. Right handed reliever. Ball two. That ball just three. misses. Huh. And that's ball three. And that's Take ball four. Ball four. 
Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, oh, the game plan game. that he's sticking to. The he's just not game. going outside of what Blaine he's looking for up there. Here's oh, Glaber yeah. Torres. Edge of the zone, call the strike. It's 0 1. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. And now the 0 1. Good take by Torres. Got him looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter. Right? The pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Next to hit, Austin Wells. And that's in for a strike. And the righty deals. He swings and fouls one off. Gets a piece and stays alive. Verdugo off of first with two away. That's and that ball. just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Huh. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. Three innings complete. Major League Baseball is on the show. Start of the fourth, here's the third, the third baseman, the Raphael third baseman. Devers. Raphael Devers. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee no. Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one, one game, one though, strike. that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Up the middle, Volpe. Tosses to first, one up, one down. Now bad catcher. Connor Wong. Here's the catcher to hit. Connor Wong. Grounded out his first time up. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Wong in his second season. 27 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2017. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now, and stepping in for Boston, Romy Gonzalez. He's over one. Ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Verdugo makes the play and it's out number three.
Back for more from leading the Bronx. Off, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with That's you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Anthony Volpe. Volpe. The pitch. Board on the leadoff single. The center fielder. Fastball off well. the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punch right, it to the well. opposite field for that knock. And up next for New York, Trent Grisham. One for two. Swing ah. and a miss. That's strike one. Oh one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Just missed. Here comes a pitch. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches up, 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 to Mayfield. even that count up. Two balls and two, balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside Love the zone. Mayfield. LeMayu up for the third time and takes ball one. Hurt Strike ball. one. One one. Volpe, the base runner at first with one out. Right Woo. through there for a strike. The pitch. And Ball. that one is inside. This to third. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And no shot to get him at first. There's two aboard. Now that one. The designated hitter. Back to the top of the Yankee order. And now it's going to be Oswaldo Cabrera. That's ball for a strike. Two on, one out. Slapped foul. There and a count one and two. One three. really good take, especially with two strikes. Runners at first and second with one gone. In the air, out towards left center. Two down. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And now it's Juan Soto. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. First pitch misses. One ball, no strike. The Yankees up big in this one. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that one fouled off. Ball. 
ball. Next pitch is outside. Two one. Left-hand hitter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Oh. And down on strikes. And that's the third out. Yanks strand a pair, but they're still way out in front. 12-2. We go to the top of the fifth. Joe so stepping in for Boston. Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida. Cortez back to work. That clips the corner. You know, these Red Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, no, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Valdez batting with one down takes a strike. Ah. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Well, you got to give okay. him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. That shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. To first, and the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Well, I'm Rafael. not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Well struck left field, and it's gone! That'll fire up the dugout. His second homer this series, it's 12-3. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. Fastball yep. for a strike. And it's 0-1. There's a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole. You're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. The right really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now it's the right fielder, Rob Ref Snyder. That misses, and it's 1-0. Duran off of first with two away. That's oh. in there. And that's strike one. Two outs. Oh. Breaking ball inside. And a count two and one. And a 
strike on the outside edge. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. Home half of the fifth coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Josh Winkowski. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Yeah, the hard throwing righty trying to secure these the outs Yankees. against a potent Yankee lineup, but it starts with Aaron Judge. The pitch. Judge rips that one under it. And there's one down. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Number 24. Alex. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Alex Verdugo. Close one doesn't get the call. One and zero. Oh. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Zach Kelly appears to be getting ready, and I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. And another ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. One down, base is empty. No, that misses the, the zone. Plate. Three and O. Oh. <laughs> Top of the zone for a called strike. Three, well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the ball zone. Four. Look for him to Make stay down around the knees to be effective. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base eight, eight, with a quick free pass. Base, Labor Torres up to the plate. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Wouldn't ball. chase that time. One ball, no strike. And that one a little below the knees. And the count is 2-0. Man at first, one away. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Two and one now. And a strike to Glaber. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. That gets down for a hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And here is Austin Wells. One -oh. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. One run across, and that one is off the wall. Now the throw comes in, runner holds it third. Everything came together for him. Just a solid swing right there. Got it out front and lifted into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Second and third, one gone. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. And oh. the first pitch misses for ball one. Two on, one out. That misses. Yeah, that's ball two. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. The pitch. 
that three misses. Ball. And no that's strike. ball three. At the belt and fires. Pitch is in for a strike, and now three and one. Oh, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you could recognize it early and jump on it. Three one is on the way. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. And that'll One load the bases. The base. oh, a great back and forth and that at bat. Get to play off some really close <laughs> pitches. And somehow, well, you found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Christian ball stands one. in here, takes ball one low. One ball, Two walks no in tonight. the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then Three repeat high. them. There's a strike. Torres at third. Wells at second. Volpe at first. One gone. Line drive caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. LeMahieu in the box now. No balls and a strike. Tough situation right here. It's so important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Righty delivers. Not and the ball, ball one to LeMayhew. Ball. And now two balls and a strike. Two ball, one strike. And two that's ball. downed it away. One strike. Grounds one to the right side. Off balance Rebound. throw in time. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We're through five. The Yankees lead it 13 to three. Top of the sixth Speedy inning. Now right it's the power now. speed combo. Tyler O'Neill. As the lefty gets to work. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Right through there for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Drifts towards it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Now, now that third, third base, base. Rafael, Rafael Devers. Here's Rafael Devers. Fastball for a strike. Close, but called a ball. And one and one. The Yanks up big in this one. And we're in the top half of the six. Ball, no. And that one upstairs. 2 1. No. Close, but called a ball. Three, Three one. and one. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Light drive. 
Soto calls it in to away. Now that two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Connor Wong. And that keeps the inning alive. Wastes no time there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Next to hit, Romy Gonzalez. In the air, right side. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. I'm sure he's happy with the automatic double, but you know he's wondering if it cost him an RBI right there. He put a great swing on it, drove it well, but a little bit of bad luck on the bounce. So now we'll see if they can get another two-out hit and possibly drive in a pair. So two on with two away. Now the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0-1. He can get through this one. Put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. Wong, the runner at third. Gonzalez at second with two gone. Two on, two outs. Ball. And that's off the inside edge. One now ball. one and two. Two strikes. Two outs on the ground right That's side foul. and foul ball. This is inside and it's two and two. That off to the left, and we'll do it again. Ball now three. it's three and two. Ball down. He's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. So up next, Ed Manuel Valdez. And first offering is fouled off. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Swing and a ball popped up under this one. And that'll do it. So they strand three and leave them loaded. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees lead it 13 to three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the DH, Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera. And he deals right through there for a strike. You know, these Yankees really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. So far, they have six hits in the count where the pitcher has had the advantage. So it hasn't been easy for them, but they're finding a way to get it done. Here's the 0-2. Got it by him for the K. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And 
right field. You know, the cutter isn't really a huge oh. swing and miss pitch most of the oh. time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Soto ah. stands in now and watches strike one. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Breaking ball inside. And the count is one and two. Lifted in the air down the left side. Yoshida hauls it in. And there's two away. Number uh -oh. space is number 99. Aaron. Aaron. Aaron Judge at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Ah. And that's through there for a strike. Right side, hard hit. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning coming up. The Yankees lead this one 13 to 3. Pitching change here. Luis Heel. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come now in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Number 81. Luis. Luis. Sedane Rafaela now at the plate. The shortstop. Sedane Rafaela. The wide to kick the pitch. That catches the corner. Heel in his second season, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. The 0 1. Gets him to chase after that one. No ball. Two strikes. Next Too offering high. upstairs. Righty to the plate. Ball. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. Wouldn't chase that time. Next no, offering is downstairs. Right through there for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Down, base is empty. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Ah! Struck him out without a swing. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Rob Ref Snyder. First no, offering and it just misses. One ball, no strike. And a pitch. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands.
Here's a 1-1. One, one. Ball. Fought off foul. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. And a pitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Movement in the bullpen. Zach Kelly appears to be getting loose. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Now back, the, the second base. base. Glaber. Here's Glaber Torres. Torres. And he pumps it a strike. And here it comes. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. And Gabriel yeah, Torres right. retired. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Wells. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. Pitch misses no. there. Ball one. 1-0. One -oh. That's ah. in there. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and deals. Popped up. Rafaela should have this one. He's got it. And that is out number three. Nothing across here this half. Eighth inning coming up. Yankees out in front, 13 to 3. We go to the eighth, and now the DH, Tyler O'Neill. The right hander back to work. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike oh, one. one. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees, number 61. The left-handed reliever appears to be getting loose. Hill getting cranked up as well. Right-hander kicks, deals. No. Just missed. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Oh, Swing dude. and a miss. Struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Up next to the right Raphael side. Devers up to hit. The third base. Raphael oh, yeah. Devers. Ball. Ball one, no strikes. Ah. 
That one hammered the pulled foul. One down, base is empty. Now fly ball to right center. Grisham drifts towards it. Brings it in. Out number two. Now that catch it. Caught on. Wall. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Hit hard on the ground to short. Volpe throws it to first in time. And that is that. This one pretty well decided at this point. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. The Yankees lead it 13 to three. Back now in the Bronx. Go. Now the here Yankees. is Anthony Volpe. That's your stop. Anthony Volpe. Winkowski back to work. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball the shortstop two. takes a ball. Right handed reliever. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a team. And next for New York, Trent Grisham. Ball First one. pitch, just misses. One ball, no strike. On the ground, out to short. Over to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting. Third, third baseman. DJ. DJ. Up to the Mayhew. plate steps DJ LeMayhew. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. That one fouled off. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out, but right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Man at second. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Right, he deals. Ouch. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, in the box, he's seen that movie before. Oh, it wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. In now is the Yankees' DH, Oswaldo Cabrera. First pitch, and he just misses. 1-0. The Yankees up big in this one here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Pitch misses ball. there. Now 2 0. Oh. Two ball, no strike. Two that low. one missed. That just four, four. missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk. No, and right guy right at the plate was not going to help him out oh. by swinging at something out of the zone. Go, go, go. On Soto now. That one misses out. the zone, and that's ball one. One out. Base is full.
Right. There's a strike. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Grounder might be two. To second, there's one, and that's two. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. In the Bronx and now the first baseman Romy Gonzalez. Romy Gonzalez. And the pitch. And that's in for a strike. And now the count is even. And that one hit 97 on the gun. That two-seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. And he deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. Out to center. Grisham moving under it. Hauls it in for the end. And there's one down. He's two outs away. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. And it skips in the dirt. That one inside. And now 2 0. Into the pitch. That one fouled off two and two. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. And there's a the ball. Three two on the way. There's a rocket into the outfield. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll reach second and run away. Put a pretty good jolt now into down. that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And Manuel Valdez up next for the Red Sox. And ball one.
Here's a one two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Man at second. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Torres in position. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in. But it's so hard to get on top of as a hitter. So they're down to their final out. Sidane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. And that's outside. Swing and a miss, and he got him to one chase. Ball, one oh, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. They're Ooh. down to their final strike. A lot of times one, you two. see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Heel is just one strike away. That one the other way. Throw to first. He will do. And the Yankees take this one in a blow. Rodolfo's first career sale deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 13 3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shopee saying so long.